How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So on April 23rd, Mayhem 2.0 was released and with it a whole host of issues which seems no matter what Gearbox do, they get worse. Now not long after the release of Mayhem 2.0, we started seeing complaints within the community on Mayhem 2 and its loot drops being broke. For the first week, I didn't really notice it to a crazy high degree, but I did think something was off. Well, it seemed as though Gearbox were listening because within the April 30th hotfix, they addressed problems via changes made to drops within Mayhem modes. They stated, adjusted the drop rate for legendary items within Mayhem modes, and also adjusted the drop rates for anointed gear in Mayhem modes, where here I do believe within Mayhem 10, anointed gear is guaranteed, or at least it's meant to be. But after this hotfix was applied, it seemed to me that that drop rate had gotten even worse, to a point of actually being shocking. I asked via my discord and noticed I wasn't the only one suffering. It was literally 99% of people thought Mayhem 2.0 drops were utterly broke. So I did a little more research and I figured it was a problem almost everyone was having. Reddit was full of Mayhem 10 broken posts, so I quickly knew something definitely wasn't right. And I feel whatever adjustments was made via that April 30th hotfix, the drops that were adjusted, they adjusted them the wrong way, making them even more scarce. I then stumbled upon a post on Reddit which suggested there was a bug in place within Mayhem modes where a guy had found via looking through the data of the game that loot drops from non-enemy bosses were set at a stat value of zero. And adjusting this did nothing within Mayhem modes. Outside of Mayhem modes, adjusting it had crazy effects, but with inside Mayhem, it didn't change anything. That video I made last week, I did with intentions that Gearbox would see and hopefully address it. Well, within the latest hotfix of May 7th, we saw them state they have addressed a bug within Mayhem mode that led to lower than intended drop rates for all Mayhem levels. The problem we seem to be all having. Well, I can confirm these changes via the May 7th hotfix, I feel were left out of the hotfix applied to my Xbox, because Mayhem 10 loot drops now are just as bad as what they were before this hotfix. I do not see a difference whatsoever. And looking at Gearbox reply to folks on Twitter stating the following, loot at all levels should be much more common following this hotfix, and the most loot will drop at Mayhem 10. Well guys, that's BS, because it's more or less the exact same. And I've actually run my own tests. On screen now you are seeing a farm for legendaries on Mayhem 4 prior to Mayhem 2.0 and its addition. This spot is full of decent leveled enemies, so the drops were great. Now the gameplay will run in the background while I continue on talking. But you will notice the amount of legendaries will drop. I would then go back to this spot and play a recording I did on Mayhem 10 a little over an hour ago with the hotfixes applied. So what's actually going on with the game right now? Why is it seemingly going to crap? Hotfix after hotfix, fix after fix, more problems seem to be arising. And guys, rest assured, I love Borderlands, I really do, but I won't hold back and brown nose if things go bad. I will straight up tell them about the problems we are having. I mean, I've got quite a decent Borderlands community that follow me, not the biggest on YouTube, but I've got people to look out for, and that's why I will continue on telling the truth. I mean, yes, I look out for everybody's intentions who supports me, but at the same time, I do want the best for the game, and hopefully Gearbox can see that if you ever get around to watching this video. So let's not sugarcoat it like many, many other content creators I see do. These problems need fixing ASAP before it gets too late. And before anyone says, do you think the drop rates are bad now? You should have played BR1 or BR2, where you had to farm a boss for a week to get a single drop, or the weapon still people are searching for today. Listen, I get that. I played those games, probably not to the scale of you guys did, but I played those games. But games have since moved on. Gearbox originally moved on with BR3. So quickly back to the gameplay, all of these beautiful legendaries we've seen drop here were on Mayhem 4. The standard Mayhem 4, before Mayhem 2.0 was introduced. Now in the background, now you'll see footage of me running the exact same place on Mayhem 10. And you'll see the difference is absolutely unreal. And this is with the addition of Cartel Fugs 2. So yes, in the early days of loot shooters, loot could be locked behind a ridiculous grind. A grind many people, including myself, kind of enjoyed doing. But as times have moved on, people have moved on too. The new era of loot shooters are nowhere near as stingy and people won't tolerate a week worth of farming for a single item, especially when there are thousands of items you want to get. And if there are other looter shooters out there which are much more rewarding, people will shift to those kind of games. 
and I believe Gearbox going into Borderlands 3 understood this. Now loot right now on Mayhem 10 is at that plus 2500% drop rate. Whatever that plus 2500% drop rate number is on the basis of, it 100% in my opinion is not working as intended. Or guys, is it? Is what we're seeing here intentional? And that what we first thought was a bug with none boss enemies drop rate set at a zero, was this an intended addition by Gearbox? Because let's face it, the fixes they have stated have been addressed haven't fixed any of the problems we are experiencing with loot. So unless these were not intended changes or unless they accidentally left them out of the hotfix which applied. I mean Mayhem 2.0 for the most part to me is great, but there are certain aspects of it which I don't think were thought out properly. The fact if you take a Mayhem 10 weapon into Mayhem 1, it feels like you're using a modded weapon where you can literally one tap every enemy. Weapons should scale with modes going backwards, so a Mayhem 10 weapon being taken into Mayhem 9 should scale to Mayhem 9 and those damage levels. A Mayhem 10 weapon taken into Mayhem 4 should scale down to a Mayhem 4 weapon. Because if you have a friend who joins the Borderlands community, I could bring my gear down from a Mayhem 10 and play the game with my pal and enjoy it with them, not just making it easier for them, getting him bored after 5 minutes and taking the challenge out of it. So weapons should indeed scale backwards. Another problem with Mayhem is, let's say you play Mayhem 10, and even though they said they addressed this, I'm still getting way under level with Legendary's drop. I mean drop rates are bad enough as they are, but I don't expect that one chaos I've had after about 100 kills to drop way under the level it should be. Why is this? Surely with loot being as limited as it is, this isn't intentional. So why are such things still happening? Now I hope the issues we are seeing here with Borderlands 3 are not intentional and fixed sooner than later. Because right now I won't lie, it's kinda hard to play. And I know I ain't the only one who feels this. The other issues are constant freezing people are experiencing, the lagging menus, the loading times, and now loot problems added onto the list. And I know there are many other niggling problems too, but these are the main ones I seem to encounter myself. I just hope the next patch we see fixes the issues and fixes them for good. Maybe the problems with the loot can't be fixed via a hotfix. Maybe they're putting off a fix, working on a patch, which will fix all the problems we are having. So back to the gameplay in the background. So running the exact same place on Mayhem 10, you can see the difference is unreal. Like I said, a spot with many many high level enemies and the addition of Cartel Fogs 2, it honestly just shows how broke it really is. And comparing it to Mayhem 4, which offered a plus 700% loot increase, where Mayhem 10 is a plus 2500% loot increase over 3 times what it was on Mayhem 4, you honestly can't think this is okay. Mayhem 10 now should have been the equivalent to Mayhem 4 before Mayhem 2.0 was dropped. Because Mayhem 4 loot drops were incredible. They were perfect. I mean, yes, you had the odd encounter where things didn't go your way and you probably killed Grave Ward and got no legendaries. But for the most part, he could drop up to 6 or 7, which was way more rewarding and was worth the time farming him even if there wasn't anything you wanted. But Mayhem 10 loot drop values now just seem completely off. Now another issue I am seeing more and more of is people modding. Modding is now rife and the fact you can easily transfer items over from PC to console makes it worse. But what people are doing and are more so accepting now are items being modded to a Mayhem 10 stat value and being transferred around because said items are not dropping because of said problems. And I have a feeling the longer things go on like this, the more and more this will become the go to thing with loot. And there's probably a ton of these weapons already circulating. Because if someone mods a weapon, let's take a sickle, they make it up to a Mayhem 10 stat value, and it matches perfectly what it would be if it dropped in game, nobody's going to be any other wiser. So unless loot becomes more abundant, this is what people will do. And it'll just pass them on, and you'll accept items you won't even know have been modded. And this for me takes everything away from the game, or what it is. If you don't play Borderlands secondly for farming, obviously after firstly for the story, you are playing the wrong game. So the longer the problem persists, the more and more we will see shortcuts like loot being created, go on and on, and be an even bigger problem for a gearbox. So hopefully the issues we are experiencing right now are soon fixed. Now if any more news does indeed drop, I will have it covered right here on my channel, so stay tuned. But yes people rest assured, even after the latest hotfix, Mayhem 2.0 loot, no matter the level you are playing on, still seems utterly broke. So you're not the only one experiencing it.
Now, if you guys are new to my channel and watching me for the first time, and you have Discord, make sure you join my great community linked within the video description. I have dedicated trading sections for all platforms, LFG channels, and much, much more. Again, linked within that video description. But on that note, guys, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.